Thanks for watching Afternoon Live. You may recognize our next guest from popular shows like Orange is the New Black and Russian Doll, but most recently you can catch him starring as Tony King and Tyler Perry's sisters. Sagan. Look, I'm so sorry to spring this on you last minute, but I'm in a bit of a bind, okay? I was supposed to have a meeting with the overseas execs tomorrow, but something happened, so they have to be on the first plane out of here in the morning, so the meeting is tonight. Um, what, what about your auntie, Nanny? You know, she's... I called her. She's already on a bingo retreat with her friends. Like Babe, I really need you. Like well, okay, what time? Because you know I got that thing with Karen after work and you know, yeah, me and her. The meeting, the meeting is not even until seven. So, you know, we can just wait for you at your apartment. Yes? Mm-hmm. <laughs> we welcome to Afternoon Live, actor Brandon Wellington. Thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, thank you so much for having me, Anne. I really appreciate it. This is a big week. Season 7 finale tomorrow night. How are you feeling? Are you so excited for everyone to see this episode? I am so happy for everyone to see the episode, but even more so honored. I just completed um, you know, my first season as a series regular on the show, and I think getting to this journey has been great, and the people that I've been able to share this journey with has been even more amazing. And uh, I'm, I'm really excited. I think there's a lot of drama and storyline still left out there that fans want answers on, and I think, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna present some more questions as well. Ooh, we love that. I mean, it's such a beloved series. What was it like for you stepping into the cast in season six and then becoming a regular in season seven? That's a really big deal. You know, this job came at a really great time for me in my life. Um, when I joined the cast in season six, I was, you know, I was in LA. I was doing stand-up comedy for a little bit, and we were just coming out the pandemic, and so I was fresh to LA. And if you didn't know casting directors at that time. They weren't really calling you in because of the pandemic. So mm. if you had relationships with them before, it made it easy to get into these offices. Kim Coleman Casting, who had known me when I was in New York, had called me into audition for this role and many others over the years. And um, I, I just got a job working at Amazon like one day before this audition. I, I worked for like three years after Orange is the New Black because of the pandemic and everything. It was wow. crazy. And then... Um, the very next day, I get an audition for Sisters. They bring me on for a 10-episode um, recurring role. I think I did maybe, I did my first day of training at Amazon, then I ended up leaving oh to, go my film, goodness. To, to go film this show. And then after season six, they bumped me up to series regular. And, uh, you know, and that's so it's been a, a whirlwind of emotions. And, you know, being an actor is a very interesting thing. I'm blessed to do what I do. I'm very happy. And, um, you know, it, come at, it came at a great time. And I feel like I, I earned this spot through years of tribulations and sure. perseverance. Well, you just never know what's around the corner and you're always waiting on the next job and there's no way of knowing what that's gonna be. So now you're in this spot. Can you tell us anything about season eight? That's what we really wanna know. You know, season <laughs> eight, I don't know. So we did get picked up for season eight, which is public information yes. already. Um, and so, you know, we got an opportunity to film that. We brought in the same writers that were there for season seven, have now made a return for season eight as well. Um, I think the storylines are, are a little souped up. I think the action and the drama that people are accustomed to is still there as well. And I think they're also going to just see a lot of character development and new arcs that they hadn't uh, previously seen, you know, obviously. What? How much can I say here? You asked me about season eight. I don't want to get you in trouble similar. with the big boss, Tyler Perry. We're not going to yeah, break you know any what? news here. Season seven finale is tomorrow <laughs> night. There and you that's go. That's the one you guys got to have your eye on because there's 21 hours of TV that went into making this episode right here work for tomorrow night. And I think, listen, y'all, it's a lot. <laughs> it's, it's, what I love about this show is that there's always somehow, some way we find a way to where when things are going good to rock the boat a bit, mm. keep the controversy going. Uh, just when you think a relationship may have picked up all the pieces, there may be another piece that falls apart. And it's like, when are they ever going to get this thing right? <laughs> and I think this show is an evolution is kind of mimics life where you're never going to have everything perfect. There's always going to be something that probably needs to be fixed, needs to be worked on. And you can see us tackling this, tackling these you know, themes in this show, and also the way season seven is gonna round out. Okay, it's just like life. It's a little bit messy at times, but you find the beauty in it. And hey, I wanna mention that we're so excited for you because you are engaged to your beautiful fiance, Megan, and we cannot wait oh. for you two to celebrate this union together. Look at her, oh my gosh, you guys are such a beautiful couple. 
You know what? I know most of the beauty is lying on her side of the photo, <laughs> so I'll I'll be happy to take half the credit. But I know she's a seventy five percent of the reason we're a beautiful couple. And uh, right now we're in full fledged wedding planning mode. Uh, she's running out the house right now to go dot some eyes and cross some t's. And um, you know, guys, you never know all that goes into a wedding until it's your turn. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I want to take time right now and issue a public apology to anybody that I've ever slacked on sending the RSVP back in time. I don't know how important it is to get that count. I uh, know. Me a while. You are in it, my friend. It's happening right now. Well, hey, we're so excited for you and the success in your career. Congratulations on the engagement, and I hope everything going forward, wedding planning, goes absolutely perfectly for both of you. Hannah, thank you so much. <laughs> and uh, it was an honor being here talk, chatting with you all today. And remember, tomorrow, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, BET, Sisters. We got this. All right, you can catch Brandon in the season finale of Tyler Perry's Sisters. Like the man said, tomorrow it's 9 p.m. for us here on BET, and we'll have more information about Brandon on our website at katu.com. We'll be right back with more Afternoon Live right after this.